So here's another example where we do not have a trig ratio equal to a constant already. We need to solve that first. And uh, what we have here is that uh, sine of b, beta, uh, 6 sine of beta plus the square root of 27 is equal to 0. What must beta be? And they ask us the general solution. Um, so let's continue with that. Okay, so first of all, we are going to try and get sine of beta on its own because we want sine of beta equal to a constant or at least some trig ratio equal to a constant. So like always, if that was a y, if this was 6y plus square root of 27, that would have been easy. We would have just said, well, we have uh, 6 times y, which in this case it's not y, but it's 6 sine of beta equal to negative the square root of 27 because I just subtracted the square root of 27 on both sides. Okay, then I would divide both sides with a 6, divide both sides with a 6, and then I get that sine of beta is equal to, and then I have this expression. They tell me I'm not allowed to use a calculator, which means that this must be something familiar and to be honest, it doesn't look familiar to me, So, which means there's some simplification uh, necessary. And one thing that we notice is that square root of 27 can be written as square root of 9 times the square root of 3, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3, okay, divided by 6. Now this, 3 divides into itself once and into 6 twice. So this can simplify to square root of 3 over 2. Uh, don't forget the negative. I almost did. Okay, so the square root of 2 over, uh, sorry, the square root of 3 over 2 is one of our special angles. So in other words, for sine, meaning that's y over r, okay, if I have my special triangle where y is equal to square root of 3, r is equal to 2, hopefully you know that is for the uh, special angle of 60 degrees. Okay, how if, so in other words, my reference angle is 60 degrees, but since I'm working with the negative value, it must be 60 degrees in the correct quadrant. Okay, 60 degrees in a quadrant where sine is negative. So that's either in the third or the fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant is going to be easiest, we just make it negative. Okay, and that's my reference angle, I've got it. So now I've got my two solutions. My general solution is then either equal to beta is equal to my reference angle plus uh, 360 times k or beta is equal to 180 degrees minus my reference angle pr plus 360 times k. Um, again, I've already taken into account that sine is negative, so I don't need to do it here. Okay, so here I choose the quadrants where it's positive, first quadrant, and this one says it's in the second quadrant. But when I go and replace my reference angle, I notice that that's the point where it actually takes me into the fourth quadrant. In other words, this becomes negative 60 degrees plus 360 times k, where k is an element of integers. And in this one, if I replace that with a negative, it becomes negative negative. Negative times negative is positive. 180 plus 60 gives me 240. And 240, as you would know, is in the third quadrant where we know that sine would be negative. Okay, and that's my two general solutions.